Hello travelers, let's take a look at the Bellroy Venture Ready Pack 26 liters. This is a, as the name suggests, 26 liter backpack with an everyday carry in mind. I have the midnight color here, which is a kind of dark navy blue in some light and kind of black in other light. I've been testing this bag as my everyday carry for the past couple of weeks and I have been enjoying it. I think its size and weight, which is quite lightweight at only 955 grams, which is 2.11 pounds, make it a great candidate for a one bag for traveling as well. And a bit later on, I'll show you my packing list of how I would pack it for a potential one bag packing list and also as an everyday carry list. But first, let's take a quick walkthrough of the bag. It has AquaGuard water resistant zips on all of the main zips, which I actually found a little firm to zip and unzip at first but it does feel like they are getting smoother with use. There are also nice little finger loops at the end of each zipper to give your finger a place to hold while zipping and unzipping. There's a generously sized water bottle pocket with a cord to loop around large items such as tripods if you are planning to carry those. On the other side is a hidden stash pocket. Up top there is another stash pocket which is actually divided in half down the middle, which I initially thought that I wouldn't like, but it actually works quite well and is surprisingly spacious inside. There's also some nice padding on the back panels and a sternum strap. Now these straps are actually one of the points that I feel could be improved upon. They are a nice design and reasonably comfortable, but when taking the bag on and off, uh, I did notice the straps kind of slipped and needed adjustment a fair amount. And at one point, one of the buckles kind of twisted itself in an unusual way. I took a picture that you can see here, and I have seen other people who have had this same issue. But apart from that, it is actually quite comfortable to wear and I had no problems walking around with it packed for several hours at a time. I like the top grab handle of the bag as well. It's very nice and long and comfortable. And it makes it easy to hold while opening the top stash compartment while you're actually walking at the same time. I do wish there was another grab handle on one of either sides or both sides of the bag, which would make it easier to grab while you're traveling with it. Inside the main compartment, there is some more nice organizational pockets. The one on the side here is very nicely fits my mini umbrella, but could fit any number of small items. Inside the front flap is another small zippered pocket with a nice contrasting lining. And below that is another larger lined zippered pocket. I found this good for storing cables or my cap, as you can see here. Unfortunately, the laptop compartment isn't separate, but it is actually inside the main compartment here, as you can see and it has nice padding and fits up to a 16 inch laptop. It's very well padded and also has a pouch on the front for a tablet. I also found this useful for carrying documents without creasing them. In terms of water resistance, although this bag has water resistant zippers, the seams are not tape sealed and so water will soak into the bag if it is exposed to anything longer than a quick splash. This bag is also quite similar in design to the Able Carry Daybreaker 2 which I did previously through, both have a similar design and around the same capacity, but the Bellroy bag definitely has more organizational pockets. Okay, so let me show you how I would pack this out for like a one bag travel. Um, you can see there's a fair amount of space in here. Um, I probably would keep the umbrella here because that's nice to have uh, as a backup. This is just a sort of a small clothing packing cube. You could go slightly bigger or smaller depending on how long your trip's going to be and where you're going to be traveling. You can see there's a fair amount of space for that and even a bit more room on the side. This is my uh, toiletry bag. Again, could be a little bit bigger or smaller depending on uh, what you're carrying. Uh, recently, I've been enjoying taking like a small sling with me. So I might sort of try and slip that just at the top there. And again, depending on where you're going and sort of what you're doing, uh, I might take a camera packing cube. So this one and this one might be interchangeable depending again on, on your circumstances. Let me just zip it up first and see if I can squeeze some of those in there. You see this little pull tab here is very handy for zipping up the zips. You can see those fall down there quite nicely and then I have space here to put that cube. So quite a nice amount of space and actually still a little bit of room to spare as well. Now on the side you could carry a water bottle or a tripod. Um, as you can see a water bottle fits there, but that does slightly push into the main compartment. So that could be a little bit harder or easy to push in depending on what you've actually packed out in there. Now the same is true on this side, you have a 
slip pocket that could be good for you know passport there's actually a fair amount of space in there what i tend to pack there just in the moment is a merino wool buff yeah so that's pretty much um what i would take for a one bag but again probably could be a little bit bigger or smaller depending on uh, your circumstances let me show you what i've been taking with me uh carrying this as more of like an everyday carry so I don't need the toiletries or the clothing. So I again would keep my umbrella there. Sometimes I did take this separately, uh, but most of the things that I've got in here do fit into the bag itself. So again, I'd probably put the water down the side. I've been putting my Western Rise Versa cap in this pocket here. It fits very nicely as you can see. Of course I have my Hero Clip up the top here. And now this pocket, could be good for a power bank, um, you know, small headphones. I did actually end up putting my power bank in here, so I'll pop that in there. Uh, this top pocket is like the star of the show though. So let me show you here. Uh, I would probably put my headphones just down that pocket. You've got space for a few pens there. Generally what I did was I popped my wallet down here and sometimes I'd put my sunglasses in this pocket uh, or in this one. Let's just pop them in there for the moment. Of course, I would carry some wet wipes, always handy. And if you're carrying wet wipes, you probably don't need this, but this is always something that I enjoyed to carry too, which is um, hand cleaning gel. Um, so that top part does get a bit heavy and bulky, but it's, it keeps up very well. And then something else I usually carry is a Decathlon 4 Clouds 10 liter packable backpack, just in case, you know, you never know what you might need to carry extra. And because it's been getting colder here, I would just chuck a jacket down the bottom too. So for me, that would be my, this has actually been my everyday carry. And that is very comfortable. You can see um, because the top does get a little bit bulky, um, it does kind of look a bit lumpy uh, from the side, but it doesn't sag too much. And you know, it's actually quite comfortable and balanced when you do wear it. So overall, it is actually quite versatile and I am looking forward to trying this on more trips in the future. Overall, I think it's a great bag and is priced similarly to other similar bags of high quality. I am looking forward to testing it more and potentially using it as a one bag for international travel, but as an everyday carry bag, I found it very enjoyable to use and the unique pocket layout makes it very versatile. If you're in the market for a great EDC or potential one bag for traveling, I would definitely recommend checking it out.